It's time for some mock draft training, and I'm gonna show you how to dominate from the 1.5 and the 1.6. Let's go. Intro. Top five running back. You're watching the Fantasy Football Show. Smitty. Take a lap. Okay, so Saquon Barkley, one. Thomas, two. Come on. Uh, McCaffrey. Cook. Okay, guys, we're going Elliot here. I love Clyde Edwards Hilaire, but you don't take Clyde over Kamara or Elliot or really even Cook. But after that, I'm all, I'm all for it. Adams, Jacobs, Sanders, Tyreek Hill, Nick Chubb, Drake, Julio, Hopkins is such good value this year. Mixon, I, I like seeing Mixon fall further. Eckler is amazing value. Kelsey, um, wow. Don't like a single running back available. I, mean, I like Gordon, but not here. Wide receivers off the hook. Godwin, Galladay, Evans. I love that. Kittle. All four of those guys deserve a pick here. But we're going QB. We're going Patty Mahomes. We'll we'll do another one without Patty there and see what we like. Kittle, Jackson, Godwin, Aaron Jones, Gurley, Evans, Carson, Connor. Dang it. Evans went. Um, don't like the running back still. G Galladay. Galladay stands out clear as day here as being the only guy capable of being like a second rounder. It's Galladay. Clear, clear. Clear as day. Um, look at the running backs real quick. I like Melvin Gordon again later. Montgomery. Clear. Cut. It's Galladay time. Look at that. Pat Mahomes. Galladay. Elliott. I love it. Uh, love Bell. Odell. A-Rob. David Johnson. Thielen. DJ Moore. Juju. Jonathan Taylor. There's Melvin Gordon. Cooper Cup. Okay. Robert Woods. AJ Brown. Uh, DK, Chark, I love all three of those guys. I want all three of those wide receivers on this team. Uh, Ingram, Mostert, Hunt, Montgomery. I love all four of those running backs at this point. We're talking about the fourth drafted player. I start coming back around to the running backs there, but I'm going A.J. Brown, Montgomery, Ingram. Damn, Chark gone, Hunt gone. Man, getting sniped like crazy. Uh, Metcalf. Okay, let's take a look. Waller, I like Waller too, but hopefully you can get him later in your real draft, but I love Waller. Um, as a surprise wide uh, tight end three in 2020. Don't be surprised if he finishes as the number three. I'm going DK though. Look at that wide receiver crew. AJ Brown, DK, Galladay. I love that with Patty Mahomes and Zeke. Um, we're running the risk of having no running back though at a running back two. Wouldn't be shocked if, he... yeah. Um, don't like the wide receivers. Wow, that thinned out quickly. That's the risk you take. But you know what? Going with a Gibson, a Swift combination of JK, I'd make it work and that's where I'm different than a lot of people because I'll go into a, a, a whole season with a void at my running back to other people will draft based on position only position of need not me not me no tight ends here that I like man it got thin quick uh, I think at this point we go looking for a running back Gibson would be good but we based on how fall, far he's falling I mean we could get him later um, we'll go JK here. So we'd assume that we got JK and Gibson. We, we'd have a, a definitely a, a problem at running back too, but I love the team. I still like the team. You can still win with that team. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the 1.5. Uh, and of course it goes Captain Barkley, Elliott, Kamara, and then we got Cook or Clyde. Again, I'm going Cook. Clyde would be my next running back though. I'm just saying, make sure you go Cook, Elliott, and Camara because you can cuff those two super backup running backs that could be top five to ten running backs if they're ever forced to start. That's what makes those running backs so valuable there. Pat Mahomes is here. But Godwin is here. We're going to go, we're gonna go Godwin and see what kind of team we build. And then Patty went. So we didn't get Patrick Mahomes. Sometimes he'll fall. Don't like the running backs. Again, I like Melvin Gordon, but I don't like the wide receivers. Look at this. We don't go quarterback early, and we're supposed to have, what, better value, right? No. Now we miss out on the quarterback. Now I don't like any of the players really here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force something like Melvin Gordon, who, who I like, but A-Rob would be okay. Odell, okay. I'm not going Carson. I'm not going Fournette. I'll go Melvin Gordon here, and we'll see if we can turn this team around. So great value in Godwin, like probably a steal. I think at the late second round, obviously great value in, in, in Cook. 
and then Melvin Gordon we reach a little bit, but now we have AJ Brown. Let's keep things kind of similar to the team we built prior, keep a lot of the, the uh, variables the same so we can evaluate each path that we take and see what it looks like going one direction, what it looks like going another. Dang it! Kareem Hunt went, Chark went, but uh, we have ourselves Ertz on the, on the board. Mostert, Ertz and Mostert stand out. I think Mostert is the most valuable player at this point. We got Cook, Melvin Gordon, Moster, I like that. Not bad. I, I kind of like this team now that we recovered and got a guy like AJ Brown and then Moster. Let's see here. Sutton, Hollywood Brown, Parker. I like both of those receivers. Not not enamored by the, the tight ends left. I like the quarterbacks. I want Brady to fall. But he probably won't. He's three away. We got a big turn here. We're gonna go Brady here, and I, I have a better feeling we might get uh, Hollywood Brown went. The risk you, you take, Parker went. Could have been a mistake there because we still could have got A Rod and we would have had Hollywood Brown, but we still have. I mean, Boyd's there. Hurst, you could go tight end here. Let's see what running backs we have. JK still good. Gibson would be pretty good here. Let's go Gibson and, and sure up a running back. So, I mean, honestly, I like both teams. I like the Mahomes team or Lamar team that I, that I could build with that second round quarterback. I like it better. So 1.5, 1.6, my favorite so far. Okay, so now let's try from the 1.6. We'll go Elliott. Elliott keeps falling to 1.6. I, I could only dream of that. Drake, Hill, Mixon, Chubb, Kelsey, Mahomey. Mahomey, and then look, we, we've got Hopkins, we've got Eckler. I wanted to go Lamar here. I wanted to show you another QB built team, but you can't pass on Hopkins. These are my guys that you don't let slip past you, even if Mahomes and Lamar are there. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go with Eckler. Um, okay, Mike Evans st sticks out like a sore thumb. Nobody else here even remotely resembles the value Evans holds right here. Um, Carson, Odell, A-Rob, Fournette, Mari Cooper, LaBelle, Melvin Gordon. Melvin Gordon felt good. DJ Moore. And then now we got Ridley. Not a bad option. We got Andrews. Singletary, Mostert, Ingram, Hunt. I like Hunt. Wilson, Murray. Kyler Murray's kind of nice here. Uh, Watson's kind of nice here. Go AJ Brown. Keep things sim uh, similar so we can compare these teams and have as much of the the parallel stuff going on to evaluate it properly and, and evaluate the real changes in directions that we took. So here I'm feeling Hunt is damn good value as a fifth drafted player. I'm liking that. Uh, Wilson, Murray, Watson, all good values. Um. Okay, so we got to go Cream Hunt here. I mean, he's just the best player available. Fourth drafted player, Eckler, Elliott, Hunt, and then still having A.J. Brown and Mike Evans, but taking a look at the quarterbacks. I mean, Kyler would be good here, but we're going Hunt. We're going to get another quarterback like Brady, somebody like that later, so I feel very good about our quarterback prospects later on. Waller, I hate to see Waller go. Kyler and Hollywood, but... Wide receiver, we could go Parker, Sutton, quarterback Watson, Breeze. I was thinking of a Brady later, but why not Watson here? I mean, that would be a, a well-rounded team. Watson's capable of like top five QB numbers. Um, I don't know why he goes in the sixth, seventh round so much. I love him in the seventh round. I can't believe he falls there. But Parker's good value here. Let's go Parker and see what we get back at quarterback because we did want Brady. Watson went right away. Drew Brees went, JK went, Matt Ryan. Don't go Br Oh, son of a... We're so close. I like A-Rod though. I know a lot of you don't like A-Rod, I don't care. I definitely like the middle team best, but remember that's from the 1.6. The other two were from the 1.5. Different players could fall. Eckler might not fall to any one of those three draft slots in that second round. So tough to really come to a conclusion on on this one but just know that if if i was looking at these three teams i would like the middle team better but i still love the early qb approach i think you can 
remedy the holes and problems the early QB approach can create by drafting and nailing those fourth, fifth, and sixth round wide receivers like A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf, Chark, or A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf, and then a Hollywood Brown. You nail three of those wide receivers, you can compete with anybody's wide receivers, even people that draft this guy in the first round. You might have a team just as capable, just as good at the wide receiver position, deploying that late or middle round wide receiver approach that can remedy those problems created by going early QB. The lesson here, you can win a thousand different ways. Don't listen to the noise, draft the best player available when on the clock and go dominate. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know what team you liked best and comment below. Subscribe, follow, turn on notifications and get in our next mock draft here on the Fantasy Football Show. SleeperU.com. Top five running back. You're watching the Fantasy Football Show. Smitty.